Hello everyone and welcome to my tarot corner. This is a deck I received today and I was thinking to myself that if, <clears throat> as I thought, the uh, opera interview will lose the Emmys, I will use it today. It is called Cry Baby and <laughs> I think that this is the best way to uh, describe how uh, Megan should uh, uh, react to the fact that uh, they not only lost the Emmy, they lost it to an Italian food uh, TV show. So I was wondering, how does Megan and Harry really feel to losing the Emmy? And of course, how does Oprah feel? So I'm going to uh, take out three cards for each and see what we get as the energies and then I might do another spread with uh, another kind of uh, gypsy cards uh, okay so first I'm going to clear the cards And I'm going to ask, how does Megan feel after losing the Emmy to an Italian food show? How does Megan feel after losing the Emmy to an Italian food show? How does Megan feel after losing the Emmy to an Italian food show? Okay, so let's cut it and see what we get. So these are the first three cards. The middle card is the Three of Cups, so it looks like everything is okay. She is celebrating as if she won, but let's see what we've got in the, in the side. So here we have the Three of Wands, and here we have the, um, looks like the King of Swords. Okay, so uh, I, as I said many times before, the King of Swords is someone who uh, is uh, feeling um, uh, he wants everything to be okay, he, is, uh, he wants equilibrium, he is the pacifier, and it looks like Megan is uh, trying to look as if everything is okay, everything is fine and dandy. Uh, the Three of Wands is uh, the card of uh, 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 going out to, uh, uh, to embark on a journey of uh, um, uh, embark of, on a journey of um, um, uh, uh, being recognized, uh, being a co uh, uh, cooperation. Uh, she is uh, really uh, trying to uh, show here that she feels fine. Nothing has uh, touched her. And just for the sake of it, let's see what is the underlying energy. And the underlying energy is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is someone that is very... Um, Pampered, someone who uh, doesn't like to do things by himself. He is uh, someone who fan fantasizes all the time, and that's how it looks. She that she is living. She is living the, uh, in a fantasy, and she is discarding everything that is uh, against the, her fantasy. Everything that is not uh, according to her fantasy, this is how she, she, she just discards it. She thinks that she has every reason to be happy. She doesn't see any reason why she shouldn't be. 
Okay, so now let's see if Harry is more realistic than her. And then we'll see how Oprah feels. And then maybe the gypsy cards will show us the truth. Okay, so let's see how does Harry feel. So we'll clear the cards. How does Harry feel after losing uh, to an Italian food show? How does Harry feel after the opera show interview lost to an Italian food show? How does Harry feel after the opera interview lost the Emmys? Okay. Let's see what we get from Harry. And from Harry, we, we get it's the first three cards and then the underlying. Okay, so we have the devil. Okay, so the devil is a card that says, uh, this is the first time I get the devil on, on, this, um, on this channel since I've started uh, doing the, these readings, but I've got it many times before. But the devil is a card that, it, it, that says that where there is, uh, there is no light, there is darkness. This is like the worst card that can be. It is uh, the card that speaks about uh, sex with no emotion, uh, solving problems of relationships with uh, sex, lies, uh, wrong advice, uh, misleading, urges, everything bad that we can just think about the, the devil card uh, is talking about. And we can see here, that this devil card is a young person that has a mask and he's actually uh, being, he himself is shackled, okay? He himself is shackled and that's, that looks like Harry who is shackled to, uh, to uh, this marriage and he has to be um, constantly wearing a mask as if he's, uh, he's okay, but actually he's not okay. So, and let's see what we've got in the, on the side. Here we have the Ace of Pentacle, and here we have the Ace of Wands. So it's two aces, two aces, one who speaks about fulfilling uh, your wishes and your um, wants whatever you want and on the other side it's the ace that speaks about fulfilling your uh, needs uh, um, and um, and being and realizing realizing your needs and he can't do that he can't do any of those because he, the main energy he has here is the devil and on the underlying energy, we've got the Empress. So who is shackling the, uh, the, the devil, the Empress? And we can see here in this card that the heart is also shackled. You can see here, it's also shackled. And so the Empress, uh, that, that's what Megan wants us to think that she is. She is the one who shackles the, 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 the devil here. Okay, so now let's see how does uh, Oprah feel uh, regarding this loss. So, uh, first, we'll clear the cards. And then we'll ask, how does Oprah feel after her show lost the enemies to an Italian food show? As the, how does Oprah feel after her show lost the enemies to an Italian food show? How does Oprah feel after her show lost the enemies? Let's see. 
Let's see how does Oprah feel. Does she mean to keep her ties to the Harkles? Or is she going to show, her, show them her back? So what is the main energy? The main energy is the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is also a card of... A, Exactly like what uh, Megan uh, was talking about. Uh, three of is recognition, it's reward, it's uh, financial growth. So she made a lot of money out of this. She doesn't really care if the, she got the Emmy or she didn't. It's, it was just a prestige thing, but it, wasn't, it doesn't really mean uh, anything uh, money-wise. But uh, she is pretending that uh, for her, uh, even being nominated is uh, recognition enough. And on the side, we have the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles speaks about adhering to something uh, and be because you feel threatened. And the next card after that is the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is the, the, the uh, destruction and failure because you were adhering to what you have. Uh, uh, out of feeling um, um, uh, threatened. And on the other side, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and Seven Pentacles is another card which, which speaks about being uh, not satisfied, about being a uh, feeling... Um, uh, Seven of Pentacles speaks about uh, disappointment from the reality and the uh, readiness to go uh, to, and to risk everything to get to the truth. So she is disappointed. She is disappointed. And if we look at the underlying energy, so the underlying energy is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is an Earth uh, fire sign uh, person, many, many times uh, can be uh, uh, attributed to uh, Megan herself, uh, but I think that this is someone she would want to be. Um, I don't think that she is. Uh, the Queen of Wands is someone that thinks mainly uh, about herself. But she's also a leader, and Meghan Markle wants to be considered a, a, a leader, but she's not. She has all of the uh, bad attributions uh, that you can give for, to the Queen of Wands, that being uh, egotistical, uh, uh, problems uh, about ego, immaturity, extravagance, everything that is uh, negative about the Queen of Wands, that's what Megan is. So these were the uh, readings about how they feel regarding this um, failure. And now I'm going to ask these cards. It's some kind of a uh, uh, gypsy cards uh, and I'm going to ask about the next step. step what is the next step it is called Sibylla Indov Indovina if I'm not sure if I'm not mistaken so what is going to be their next step so let's see let's get out some cards and see what their next step is going to be what will be their next step? What will be their next step? Just take those out. What will be Harry and Megan's next step? What will be Harry and Megan's next step? What will be Harry and Megan's next step? Let's see what we get. Okay. So our first card is a vis visitors, I think. Wait, just one moment. What does it say? Pleasure seekers. So people that are looking for pleasure. Okay, so this is one thing. Uh, the next card is house. 
okay and we'll see how it all goes together and the next card we have here is prison okay so we have here a couple that mostly live for their pleasures they uh, have a house we know that they bought a house but they are also talking about going back to the uk going back home and they feel like they are in prison like uh, both of them are uh, tied to one another and they cannot get away uh, what is the underlying energy here and the underlying energy here is misfortune what can i say what can be more than that uh, so their next step is probably trying to get back to the UK, trying to get uh, their pleasure back, trying to get their clout back, but it won't, it won't work. Maybe they will be, be back in the UK, but it will not help them and it will end up in a misfortune. So thank you for uh, being with me. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next time. Bye.